Okay, guys, what is up? Your boy R. Dykes here to talk to you for a second. Like I said, you can probably see the bio is up on the screen. Uh, really, we'll just leave that up because, like I said, we're just going to talk about a couple things real quick. Uh, kind of what's going on with the channel, what we kind of hope to achieve in the next couple weeks, uh, where we want to really go into the next direction. Like I said, uh, could be going to be a part of Mad Tips next season, really working with Gibbs and Farrells, trying to get really uh, in there. Also, I applied for an EA Game Changer position, so... We're kind of waiting and seeing what's going on with that. That's really the ultimate goal is to really get in with EA, uh, get a game changer position, work with Gibbs and Falls, really help uh, them make the site better. It's very, very good right now, but I really want to help them like really just make it even better, which is kind of hard to do because it is a great site already. But like I said, uh, just trying to really get myself uh, really involved in there. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of my daily show. Um, so I've been trying to really just uh, promote that right now. But one thing I wanted to talk about real quick, like I said, we were talking a little bit in the daily show today. Um, I was getting some emails from a couple subscribers on here. Like I said, I figured I'd put this video out to my subscribers so you guys could watch it. Uh, it's basically a video, um, what's going on with the Madden right now, what we're going to be planning for this channel. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a Jacksonville defensive e-guide. We'll be covering the 335, the nickel normal, the dime flat, the dime, the 43 stack, the 43 odd. And a little bit of the nickel strong. I have to tweak around with the nickel strong because it's very, very good. But like I said, I have to get my setups nice and tidied up with it. So going on from that, that's really what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a full, probably about two to three hours, I would think, guide with Jacksonville. So look forward to that uh, for everyone that's a nice subscriber here. Again, thanks again for subscribing and watching all the time. It means a lot, I think, for everybody uh, that's supporting this. So like I said, we're talking and then we're sitting here really talking about uh, everything uh, we're also going to be putting out a couple guides, uh, not guides, but mini schemes. Let me look at my schedule. Uh, we're going to be putting out a mini scheme for the bunch in the New York Jets playbook. We are going to be also putting out, let me grab my other little sticky note that I have. I have a couple sticky notes. Uh, there it is. We are going to be putting out a uh, full scheme on the San Francisco uh, offensive playbook. A lot of the ace tight slots, a lot of the uh, running, which is real, real good. Uh, we're also going to be putting out... Some Tennessee I-form type mini schemes. Uh, we did a little bit on the show today, kind of show you what you did really expect. We're also going to put out, uh, I know a lot of people were asking for uh, how to run the football of the New York Giants book because Gibson Farrells made such a great book with that. But like I said, uh, it was really pass heavy, so a lot of people were like, okay, can we get a little bit of balance dykes, uh, really get that on there? So yeah, let me see what I could do. So I found a couple things that are real, real nice. Uh, talked to Gibson Frost, they gave the okay to go ahead and cover some of that stuff. So we should be good, excuse me, we should be good on that end. Next thing we're doing is uh, the Ace Twins scheme from the run and gun. Get that kind of out there. We've done a couple uh, run and gun type of things. And then, of course, that's really about does it, like I said. So we'll cover Jacksonville Defensive Guide, a full e-guide for you guys to have on YouTube, a mini scheme for the Bunch Jets, run and gun, Ace Twins, uh, running from the Giants book, I-form type from Tennessee, and then a full scheme for San Francisco. So basically two schemes and five mini schemes. So... That's kind of how that's going to go. But like I said, really, while we're on topic rolling here, uh, we're just going to be kind of talking about what else we're planning. So we have that, that pretty much scheduled probably for the next week to two weeks, really get all that content out there, kind of keep that. So, I mean, like, basically, let's, let's say like a two-week window just for the fact that really we could put stuff out, really give you guys enough time to really grasp it and then really learn it and stuff. So that's really kind of what we want to do. And on top of that, really talking about that, we're sitting here talking about uh, – just time and effort, like like I said, so basically, we were talking about it earlier, so a couple of my subscribers were emailing me and messaging me on a couple of the forum posts saying, hey, do you do personal um, sessions? I'm like, what do you mean personal sessions? Like, well, they said, well, like, lessons, like, can you help me out? And I said, well, I've never done that. Um, I would have to look into it. I mean, I could do it, um, but it would just be really something I would have to really plan out business-wise, really. I'd have to sit down and kind of figure out how I would do that. I'm not opposed to it, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not for it. I'm not leaning either way. I like the idea. I've had a couple of good ideas with it, but at the same time, I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way and me be being like, oh, well, I'm doing lessons now. That's not how I'm trying to come across at all. I'm really just trying to say there's guys that really need that one-on-one -on -one help, and basically the, what I would do is, is really if you would want that private session, what we would do is either get on Xbox Live or get on PS3. Um, we'd get on a Skype call because that would be the easiest thing. And what we do is I would actually record our game because, like I said, I can put your voice – and my voice on the video when we're on Skype. So basically, I could throw that on there. So while we're sitting there labbing and kind of doing everything together, I mean, basically, I have that video archived. So after really our one session, or like I said, I've had a couple different ideas. I could do a offensive session, 
a defensive session or a game session where uh, really we can teach you how to set up your depth chart for that team, really kind of give you some ideas how to go with that team or whatever, or a combo deal, go with an offense, how to build an offense for your team, whatever team you want, with kind of the playbook or defensive playbooks that you like. Basically, we can either go, you can pick a team that you really like and the offensive book and defensive book you really like, and I could work you with that, or what you could do is just pick really kind of a team and then like really you don't know what playbooks you want. I could really kind of guide you in that direction if you want to go run heavy or pass heavy or a little bit more balanced. Same thing if you want to blitz heavy, uh, really coverage D, stuff like that really. Just kind of build it to really personalize yourself. So that's kind of the idea. But like I said, I'm really not trying to offend anyone. Like I said, I'm doing this really if people want it. Like if they don't want it, then okay, that's fine. I mean, I'll still be putting out tips all the time. Like that's all I'm going to be doing is putting out free tips and stuff. But like I said, for some of those guys that really want to personalize offense or personalize defense for themselves, or if they just want the personal time where they can sit here and kind of make their own type of scheme for themselves, we'll definitely have to do that. So I'll have more details on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my email in the link uh, if you guys are interested in that. And then, like I said, we'll kind of talk one-on-one -on -one and kind of see if we can, like, really – how to really work it out. Like I said, I'm c trying to, like, think how I would shape it and everything. But basically, like I said, so you'd get on a call with me, Skype. You'd be on your video. So basically, you could always rewatch the video, always watch our session that we had together. Or what I could do as well is uh, I could send you a DVD for like just a little bit like two, two to bucks extra. I could just make a DVD, really just ship it to your house if you would rather have it on a DV, uh, DVD format rather than a video format to your email. Just kind of depends. Just a couple ideas I was throwing out there. So I really, like I said, I really, I'm really glad you guys are subscribing and you're really liking the content. But I did want to get some stuff out there as well like that because I know a couple of people have been asking uh, for more personal stuff. So like I said, I mean that basically does it so... Um, if you guys have any more questions, again, I'll link my email down in the bottom. I'll also go ahead and uh, link – again, I'm trying to think of what else is going to link you to. Uh, I guess I'll just link my email and really kind of give you some contact info. I'll maybe even put my phone number in, down in there, but probably not because I don't really want people randomly texting me like if they're uh, going to be opposed to this. I don't want them to be like rage messing me or something. So uh, just like I said, I'll probably put my email and stuff. Uh, if you guys want to do that, like I said, email me if you're interested or you just really want more details. Like I said, I should have a couple details kinked out by the end of the night. So that's kind of how that goes. So really, like I said, again, thanks for really everyone subscribing and watching. I mean, we really appreciate it over here, especially at Bad Tips. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. And then so, like I said, really, that about does it. So, again, your boy R. Dyke signing out, and thanks for watching.